Hey, uh, this is Pillow Castle Games. I'm uh, Logan Thief, uh, level designer on Superliminal. Hey, this is Albert, game director of the game. And my name is Chris. I was the producer and sometimes also designer on Superliminal. And we're here to watch someone play our game very fast. Yeah, an interesting thing. I get used to like sitting there for the fade at the beginning of levels, oh. and he's just like moving. Yeah, right that's away. why it starts to push me. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So the whole thing with Superliminal is, you know, if this is your first time seeing it, uh, we lean very heavily into uh, like I guess like an an area of player agency where things are all analog and continuous and can be. I guess it could be pretty much any size that you can make them. So we kind of knew when we were making it that there was going to be pretty good speedrun potential and just general, like, janky excitement. Wow, that, that was fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the way he, like, threw around the ceiling. A lot of people Oh, uh, that's very But nice. I've never seen Wow, he's in the board. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah, I guess because it's smaller, so already, so you don't need to do size of cars. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine the ceiling trick will get a lot of use here. Oh, dang, that was... That's... Oh, uh, yeah, I still can't hit that right first time either, so... I don't blame him. What the is the idea? Faster, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> I did not even know that. Huh. Okay, this one is hard to be very quick on. I want to see what he does. Uh, yep, go right up to it. Uh, very nice. Wow. Okay, that's a good technique. I do a lot of our, like, Passing runs through the game when we make new builds, so this is like giving me good tips for how to get through things fast. This <laughs> is whoa! <laughs> with the player, that's cool. And I don't think you can you can fall faster than you can fall, right? <laughs> no, I think it's just oh, they don't look down at the bed. That's so fun. Something we should mention, actually, that goes in line with the speedrun community is we actually have speedrun achievements in the game and uh, that are based on sort of how fast you complete the game. And we never count the loading screens, loading screens yeah. and maybe the intro cutscene. Yeah, the intro we don't count. It starts when you start the first level. Yeah, because when we launched our console versions, uh, people were mad that, they, that the loading screens were slow, but it has like no, no relation to anything. What is this for? Oh, OK. I guess just so it didn't get in the way. Sefai, yeah, fastest way to not, not be annoyed. This one was done best by the guy who made our trailer for us, Ryan Seville. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. Yeah, just using the top of it. Pretty cool. Uh. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to I bet he can probably skip the, the second one here. Yeah, if you, this, is, this is like you have no idea something we used to do a lot. Yep. Yeah, he's just gonna. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's the classic yes. trick. <laughs> it's really hard to execute that for right. a lot of players. Yeah, it looks a lot easier when you're watching it. It involves like a jump, double click, and then jump. I think. Yeah, we were thinking about using that, you know, mechanic as part of the puzzle, but even that was like a little too complicated. So yeah, yeah, it's really hard. execution heavy. Yeah. He ran up the rail of the stair wow. there, which is kind of funny. I didn't think about that. Yeah. To do that. Oh yeah. He's oh, just gonna get nice. Up on, the, on the walkway. Is that? Wow. Is that faster? I don't know. I don't know if that I was think, much faster. That is Maybe a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah. Don't go around. Yeah. He was really good. <laughs> he could just climb up the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, to the walkway with the Yeah, exercise. so this walkway is actually above an earlier part of the level, and I don't know if you could do that faster. It'd be really yeah. difficult. Yeah, but it feels like with the right technique, you could, you could just grab something. Um, yeah. That was uh, very precise. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one big thing is that no matter how much things resize, um, we don't screw around too much with uh, their weight. Things physics always behaves nicely, so you can you can always tell the the inertia or whatever something will fall at. I don't think it ever changes. Oh, yeah. We're going to be moving like, before the fade is <laughs> yeah. done. That fade isn't that long. Like, 
a second and a half, I think. Yeah, yeah, sure. Valuable second and a half and a half. Yeah, it's interesting. It's fun watching the, the counter at the top because he's like breaking the record. Oh. oh, that's cool. Oh, wow, yeah. Will he grab this? Yeah, and I think you can skip. Yeah, you can probably just skip this next one. And yeah, the penny. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because I used to do that every now and then. <laughs> yeah, so one thing about the game is we have this like mantling mechanic. And the reason we added that, so basically, close to jump, will basically let you do it, right? Yeah. And the reason we had that is because, you know, you can make an object any variety of sizes. So yeah. you could miss jump by like an inch. That feels bad. Yep. Yeah, the mantling, I was worried about it, but once we got it implemented, it was so much better. Yeah. Yeah, it was a weirdly long debate. It's like the thing I was immediately like super strong on. It's funny that uh, Logan made this kind of ruler in game. It's basically like, and this is the height yeah. where we can yeah. jump, and this is the height we can mantle, and we just use that to line up you know, all these different ledges to make sure they're the right height. Good placement. Why hold this? I guess just for style. <laughs> yeah. Uncut. Oh man, six minutes. Mm -hmm. So far for the entire game. <laughs> Why not turn around? Okay, it's a long delay. Do either of you know, is that counter in the top? Are those green numbers cumulative? Oh, no, they're not, it's 0.5 to 0.2. Yeah. I wonder if that jump is just really feel good or if it actually makes a difference. By touring the waterfall salinity zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self doubt. I wouldn't be surprised if there's not too many shortcuts you can do at this level. The one I can think of is you can jump across the chasm. Oh, if yeah. You know it, if you know it. Yeah, I'm really excited to check <laughs> out the portal level. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. It's good use of pushing forward. <laughs> All right, this will be the leap. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, go like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So both jumps on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, um, something they might do if they are very high tier play is that they will not pick up the red light. Oh, and just blindly it is go through the dark. It's really cool. That would be too good. You will see if they do it. I'd be very surprised. Well, it could be possible. Because so much of, like when you're doing proper speed running, so much of it is just muscle memory that you can practically do it with your eyes closed, which I guess you kind of are if the lights are off. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Right. This is incredibly stupid. Um, <laughs> do not try this at home. It's really hard. Yeah. Supposedly you're supposed to take a light and light up the whole area, <laughs> and we made it basically just difficult enough so it was possible. Right? Yeah. Unless. Yeah, you know, unless you memorize it all. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of memorization. And then this one, you can, yeah, that's not, this is another light based puzzle that you can skip if you know what you're doing. Yeah. That one's easier without the light. But... Yeah. Ah, uh, for a knife. That unintentional multi green layering occurs in less than 1% of patients. This correlates to also, watching these speedruns is a nice little uh, humble brag for our commentary, our in game voice. Queuing technology because it's not screwing anything up because they run through all the uh, different lines. Yeah. yeah, well, one of the issues is we're trying to like time out voice lines so we don't get far enough and all of that. And then, in the end, we're like, if people would just run through this fast enough, yeah, you know, we've got to figure something out for that. So, eight seconds shorter, that's very good. Hmm. Probably the not having to grab the light helped a lot. 
Yeah, I think when when I watched when we watched the Summer Games one, I mm-hmm. think they still used the light. I can't remember mm-hmm. exactly. Oh no, because almost all theirs no, were all just, like, yeah, yeah, they were all collision bugs. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, because they have to just fly through the level. Yeah, I think I think glitchy speedruns are fun, but there's kind of more of a craft to the glitchless runs. Mm-hmm. Anyone who's ever made a video game knows there's like so many holes in the game that they've made that glitch glitch runs are just not really surprised. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, it also cool. hurts more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that was yeah, that was. I should, I should do that more. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I always do the like grab and drop, grab and drop, grab and drop. Yeah. Grab and drop. This one can be fiddly. Yep. Oh, nice. no, they got it. Okay. Uh, you should ignore this part because this will look different soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just have fun. Blink. Yeah, very good. <laughs> that's good clicking. Yeah. That's and then I found that actually only discovered that yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I unlocked the door yeah. using the right click. Right click. I've never thought about it. <laughs> This is the one you were most interested in seeing, Albert? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it from the Senko. That's. <laughs> If you're watching this and wondering how the speedrunner is triggering those lines, they auto trigger if you uh, don't click on whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Okay, Ooh, yeah. that was nice. That's right. fine. Perfect sizing. Yeah. So what what's going on there is uh, the speedrunner is trying to make it as small as possible for him to still fit through because then he walks because the speed is yeah. better. Yeah. Because he's larger in the space, mm, right? That's a good point. And yeah. this one also Whoa! as small Whoa. as possible. Yeah. The stereo has no worth. No, he's just grabbing it for fun. Okay. Wow, yeah, that was, that was neat. We're now halfway through the game. The good thing we didn't spend almost eight years making this. Please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Okay. Oh, interesting. He grabbed it in the middle again. That's so it. Faster, yeah. Mm-hmm. That. So that's cool. That's really yeah, smart. Nice. I was gonna say, I'm, I can resize that fan a lot quicker, but I've never thought about blowing the door towards me. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was some technique right there. Are we gonna look up? Hello, my name is no. Dr. Glenn mm-hmm. Hughes, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational. I'm curious about this one because I don't think a lot of people can. Make this one right back. Uh, uh, oh. The kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, that's wow. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that was possible. But it's uh not intended, but it is awful. Yeah. But I've never actually seen that happen before. Yeah, you have to get it just yeah, right. Totally. Yeah, you saw even even the person here almost almost screwed that. You're not actually supposed to make that jump. Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that world's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to disappear when you're out yeah. there. That's funny. That's really smart. We'll fix that. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Good resizing. Anyway, you're now headed in the right 
Oh, that was pretty cool. I thought that last puzzle would take a lot longer. Yeah, that was fast. You know, I think there was a time, I don't know how seriously we discussed it, about making the resizing discreet. Mm. And it's interesting now watching in speedruns that like it really does bring like a craft to it when right. you know nothing is nothing's kind of being exact, set for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the yellow means when the I think it's just more it's just a more drastic drastic reduction. Hmm. Yeah. That's bad UX. <laughs> be. Wait, what's going on here? Okay. Oh no. Is there a way to do this faster? Is there a trigger <laughs> on the wall? Okay, so what's going on here? Is this entire section that's picking up triggers at the bottom of the section? Yeah. But there must be a trigger here and that's actually leaking through the wall. Might be. And that's why he's like standing right there. That's very interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm very nervous in that. Yeah, same. What would what trigger would be there? It would, it it would be the last trigger yeah. in the hallway um, that triggers a teleport. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. I almost feel like we shouldn't fix it. Conclusion: Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol. Yeah, he's basically triggering the last. Yeah, it's killing the last. Baseline mm -hmm. in in this whole segment. Instructions: Continue with somnascult therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Very good time. Mm -hmm. well, I guess it doesn't count as over yet. No, it's not. It's not technically over. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's Why is this one? Oh, just waiting. Mm -hmm. I don't think you actually have to move for this. Uh, no, uh, you yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's you do. Yeah, there yeah. Is. yeah. Yeah, but he's always looking in the right direction. He doesn't move um, his camera, so he just clicks so it. So you can click the alarm yeah, clock. Is <laughs> that was very fast. Wow. Okay, <laughs> that was cool. Um, that doesn't come across very well on video, I think. But that's a complete, wow. a complete like upside down, back to front change of how the mouse controls. Yeah, and the player just the speedrunner just moves past it really quick. Good. Oh wow! That was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. They ignored your precious animations. Yeah. Of course, nothing is more challenging. Don't look at this bit. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. With solutions that could not be found otherwise. That part took forever to get that to feel right, and then they totally broke it, so. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, can we tell which version this is? This is the first one, right? Yeah, this is the previous. This is not the updated one. This puzzle has been changed a lot um, yeah. over time. That's quick. Yeah. I always screw up when I'm trying to run through this hallway. <laughs> oh. That's nice. very good. Ooh. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. The unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it will think. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, how, here, yeah. that's how I play it. This is super, super confusing if you're watching this and haven't played, so I hope no one's doing that. Ooh. Yeah, this one you can memorize. This is like always solved. Yeah. Wow. So that's, nice. pretty, that's pretty great. That's pretty good. And then this part is. I'm interested to see if they have a faster way to do it. Yeah, it's, just, all, it's all triggers. Yeah. So I guess going to the corners Ooh, is faster. Ooh, I see. Yeah. Interesting. Which is what they did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, usually you go to <laughs> the four walls. Oh, Whoa! wow, you clicked the alarm yeah, clock. Yeah, from super far away. That's cool. Oh, so you ha so had to go the right angle, uh, the right corner at the beginning. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Hey. Ooh. Oh. Yep. Cool. You know, as a little side note, I think the fastest portal speedrun is like 20 minutes, so our game is harder than portal. <laughs> Very good. That's interesting actually looking at the time that um, the last level still adds like a two second timer. Yeah, the speedrunners must count the part where you have to click the alarm clock, mm. I guess. Okay. <laughs> For some reason. I guess that makes sense as opposed yeah. to end it. This level should oh, be wow. pretty fun. Yeah. I think this is going to be incomprehensible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you've never played this level, it's not going to make much sense. Hello. My name is Dr. For anyone foolish enough to be watching at home who hasn't played this yet, this, this whole level is mostly uh, everything looks like it's uh, an indeterminate distance away. So things will just look like they're happening at. I guess at random here. Yeah, there's no depth of perception in this, yeah. in this level. There's no lighting in the puzzle part. Depth of perception is the word I forgot. This is the Dark Link battle from Water Temple. <laughs> Not really. There's good labels on those doors. People don't notice them. Nice. Good. That one can trip you up because you don't necessarily know if you've actually gone through sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then I think you could do wiggly stuff with this. Ooh, Probably. Wiggly. Oh, he's you're just reversing, for... reversing out, and then you switch around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, that's a good example of something that will make no sense unless you play <laughs> that level. But in white space, I also face the greatest challenge I could imagine. I like the parts where they're just walking through darkness because it's just, <laughs> it, it's just, it looks like nothing's happening. Doink. It's kind of giving me like flashbacks watching this because this is how I when I used to play through the game every night. Because <laughs> not far away from how good I am. Yeah, got. just trying to beat it as fast as possible. Yeah. <laughs> this one's good, yeah, because I've tried to figure out if you, which way you have to face when you. Yeah, I it. I built this part and I still I get mixed up. Yeah. I, I still get mixed up on which direction the exit is. Okay, they are two seconds away. From apparently from being done with it, which seems impossible. Oh no, minutes. No, okay, yeah. This is weird, but I love this. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. just jumping across the one. That is a solution I have not seen for this level. Yeah, yeah. that's actually really hard to do. Yeah, because yeah. you need to grab it, switch it, put it down in like a in in half yeah. second. Yeah. yeah. And then this, you can probably do without the cheese ramp. You can probably just oh, use it. Oh, uh, <laughs> what the nice. <laughs> Dang. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I've often wondered about this one if there's like a really fast way to do it. I'm assuming he's going to come out right at the door. Um, so I often wonder if like just going forward or if all these diagonals mm -hmm. is like faster, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walking through backwards. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot of our trivia yeah. happen when the player isn't looking in a certain direction or when we expect them not to be looking in a certain direction. So, 
Okay, so that time has been beaten by like 30 seconds. Oh, wow. 20 seconds. Big noise. Junk. 15 seconds. Oh my god, it's like a longer level than I thought it was a long fall. And then he has two that's seconds. A tw that's a 20 oh, second fall after you hit that button. Yeah. Click on the clock. Then. Yeah, that's what we're saying. It's like just the final bit you've got to do. Yeah. That's cool. Which I feel like you do in under two seconds. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Nice. Nice. Wow. Yeah, that was fast. And yeah, and then this part is, I guess, hard to explain if you are not familiar with the game. Yeah. Oh, I think that's the end of the video. Yeah, I think it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, we also so yeah. uh, base our uh, end game achievements of, of the speedrunning. We actually took a look at the speedrunner uh, conventions and did the same thing. So. In game, mm -hmm. it's also, you know, after the intro to the alarm play, right? Yeah, I don't even know if we count the last level. No, we must. No, we must see. Yeah, I, I believe so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that was someone playing our game better than we can play it. Uh, if you think this is a cool game, uh, you can buy it on almost everything right now, and we're coming to Steam in two months. Uh, so you should go to Steam and search for Superliminal and wishlist our game. Uh, IGN, thanks for having us. I don't know if you're out there somewhere, but we love you. We miss you. <laughs>